Well, good morning. It's about 4 a.m. here on October 8th. This is the second blood moon in the Tetrad. Uh, it's October 8th, 2014. And I just wanted to come inside from looking at this outside and see where, where it was. I could tell uh, that it was a kind of to the right of Orion. Orion's pretty prominent in the sky tonight, and here's the Pleiades. But it's harder for me with these less prominent stars to figure out where it is. So I came inside, opened up Stellarium so I could see. And if you turn on the pictures here, you can see that this blood moon, which is usually not a happy symbol, is in Pisces. Pisces is the symbol of the Old Testament Israel and the New Testament Church. And so, um, I'm not sure how you would read this necessarily because I'm not an expert, but it would seem to indicate that unhappy events are going to be affecting Israel or the church in the future, in, in this near future. This here is Cetus, the sea monster, a symbol of Satan persecuting the church. Over here is Pegasus, a symbol of Christ's return. And here is the Lamb, who in other pictures, not in this one, is symbolized as having control, even though see this is pulling on the band that's binding these fish. Uh, in other renditions, Ares has his hand over the band that Cetus is pulling as if he is in ultimate control. So I'm going to sign off for tonight, but I thought it would be interesting to see what's happening here. Also, um, Uranus, the planet Uranus, let me get closer here. Uranus is right next to this blood moon. Um, not sure what that means yet. I'll have to look it up, but I thought that was interesting too. One last thing before I went to bed, I went right back out there and I looked at it one more time and I wanted to see what I could see that was prominent with, uh, with the naked eye in the sky around this now that I kind of know what I'm looking at. And the most prominent thing I saw was this four-cornered square right here. And that is the Pegasus, the great square of Pegasus. And Pega, in the original language, means the chief or the king. And Sus means coming swiftly. And these stars, the names of the stars, and I haven't opened them, but I will indicate a speedy return. Someone who, who left, who is coming back soon. Right next to the, the symbol of persecution of the church. So I thought that was interesting. Take it or leave it. <laughs>